What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action spawning in the bottom of the map in the blue color playing as Zeus. His name is Yoshi. Yoshi, like the, the dude from Super Smash Brothers, you know? You're like, not Super Smash, well, from Mario, but Super Smash Brothers is where you double jump, cancel, and you kill the person. No, you don't understand. Just me. Okay, anyways, Yoshi, also known as Chessophilus, one of the strongest deathmatch players of all time. And I say that very, very seriously. This guy is an absolute menace. He plays with, if you are, if you follow the deathmatch scene at all, at, at, at any bit, you might have heard the names Nakamura thrown around. You might have heard the names Magic thrown around, Berserker thrown around. Yoshi is in that conversation. He is a madman, an absolute madman. And when he plays Supremacy, he takes that mad men, uh, that mad menace of, uh, of of ideas and applies them to such a high level. Uh, and he's always ready to put on a show, whether or not that's what he <laughs> intends to do, or if he's just having a good time. But if he's having a good time, I'm having a good time. His opponent today, uh, my brother from another mother, he is spawning uh, in the red color, playing as Loki. His name is Soup. The man, the myth, the legend, Loki, the Loki maniac himself. This guy, he's, he's always been a Loki player at heart, but he's also a competitive person. And when, she, when you're a competitive person, you can only lose so often with this god before you decide, you know what, I'm just going to play Odin and get some wins. But in this uh, auspicious of occasions, he has decided to go with the Loki. And I'm excited to see what he's going to come up with here. We can see that he's left his six zebra at home. Home Alone. It's like um, it's the year uh, 2000. The Twin Towers are still there and Home Alone, uh, an old mate from Home Alone is stuck as his family have, have uh, ventured off uh, into Paris uh, and he has to defend yeah. against the two burglars. That's exactly what Soup is thinking right now. I guarantee you that uh, is what uh, is happening. Here. We've got some relics on the map. We've got DM Quinta in the chat. Asking me, when did this game happen? I'll tell you, this game happened yesterday. Yesterday. And if you're from the future um, or, or um, the YouTubes in, in that respect, it, it happened uh, on the 1st of February. We have a relic here. We've got the Grugnir Odin's Spear. This is an incredible relic to grab for our Odin player. Now, I've talked about what Greek players need to do against Norse. And the answer is 100% of the time, every time, don't build Hippocon. Norse don't have archers, ladies and gentlemen. If you're building Hippocon, you've got to have a very, very, very specific reason. And it should not be to try and counter raiding cavalry because guess what? You do not win that trade at oh, all. The raiding cavalry beats you. But we're Zeus here. So guess what? You can make yourself hoplite and that's good. He's good. He's very good, yes. Okay, so... What else are we going to see in this game? The, the difference here with Zeus over, say, uh, Poseidon or Hades is that Zeus doesn't have a strong heroic age, but that's because of Aphrodite. And the reason why Aphrodite is so strong is, one, the Nemean line, but two, more importantly, the curse. Uh, but curse isn't that useful against, uh, against Loki. Going Dionysus here or 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 um, Apollo here can give you a lot of value, and then you also get access to those impassments. So sometimes going for some sort of semi-fast heroic, so you get the early pressure on for your Athena rush, and then you get to the heroic age and start making yourself some uh, some of those beautiful beautiful impassments. Can be really really strong. Uh, we do see the relic getting grabbed Thank over you. here. It is the Titan's treasure, so maybe uh, we've got some intentions of getting ourselves a Titan here in this matchup. Who knows? Uh, and we'll see how this is going to go. Soup is going through Forsetti. No surprises there. He's starting to make those beautiful, beautiful Hursa. Getting started, bringing his villagers back home to eat those zebra that are at home. The problem here for Mr. Soup, the soup man himself, the man who loves a good bowl of soup, is that his zebra are technically not safe. They are technically not safe. Because... If the Zeus player decides to swing in this way, which he should do, he's going to be able to hit this, and then he's going to be able to hit this, and then he's going to be able to hit this, and then he's going to be able to hit this, and then he's going to be able to hit this, and he's going to keep walking over here into this black fog of war and then do nothing. 
Um, that's not what's going to happen at all. But we'll see where Yoshi is going to be looking for. We can actually see that he's got a... Uh, I would say uh, uh, the, the scientific term is actually a metric shit ton of food in the bank. And he is currently making himself a military academy at home. So we'll see uh, what he's going to do with that. Just throwing up one military building is very peculiar. But like I've said, uh, Yoshi is a very, very specific player. He does stuff that's very peculiar. And I'm interested to see what he's going to come up with. He is currently making himself some hoplites. Uh, and he is throwing himself up an archery range. So this is the classic Athena start, uh, if not. If it's classic, maybe it's classic, but it's a little bit funky looking because normally we chuck both of the uh, military buildings up at the same time because guess what? The Hursa come. The Hursa are pretty crazy here uh, in their early game pressure. So you need to get those buildings going very, very quickly. So we're seeing Soup currently moving forward. He's making some raiding cavalry. He's making some Hursa. He's got a lot of wood in the bank already. Yeah. Jeebus, this build order from Soup is very, very good. He's going to get that 10 favor incredibly fast, make himself the Hall of Thanes very quickly. And he's going to be... He's, oh, this is a very, very, very good build from Soup thus far. He's already got himself nine villages or dwarves, I should say, on, uh, on food here. And look at this. Look at this from Soup. I'm telling you, Soup is an innovator of Norse, and he is doing this amazingly. He is... Oh. Ten point. I take it back. I actually know he's moving forward. I thought he was going to go to the chickens, but he's going to go forward to the to the uh, rhinoceros. And so, so what Soup does here is he's taken the villages off of wood, which is fantastic. I would probably would have left one on wood just to make sure I can keep building houses. But now he's going to be able to get even more food-based units out because he's going to be able to eat all of this hunt super efficiently. Meanwhile, we see the raid coming over here. Yoshi is going to be able to defend this very, very nice. You can see Yoshi's at 47 to 55 supply with a lot of resources in the bank here. Had this build gone slightly different for Yoshi, he probably would be in a better position here, but uh, not happening here, whereas Soup is spending his resources nicely. But look at that. 500 gold in the bank. 500 gold. So one thing you can do if you're in this situation uh, for soup is you can grab some of these dwarves and just chuck them onto this palm tree here uh, in order to get yourself a little bit more wood here as we can see more houses going up and he will run into a housing crisis here if he doesn't get a little bit more wood but he is chucking down all these houses. There's a possibility here that uh, what soup could do is... Uh, is uh, get like 800 gold here, chuck onto the wood, get himself the armory, uh, and then be able to advance to the heroic age. We'll see if that's what he's going to do here. Yoshi, on the other hand, still popping out those units. He's got himself a lot of military buildings now in his base. Uh, he's actually just going to play really, really safe here. So there's a world in which Yoshi's game plan here against the Loki is simply just to get to the late game. We do see the villagers turning around fighting. Nice micro from Yoshi here. Going to be garrisoning those villagers in nicely. He has to jump out of there to get those dangerous getting attacked villagers in. You can only get five villagers into a sentry tower at one time as we do see the iron he spawn popping up here it's going to be a big big help in this fight but soup decides not worth the fight here is going to leave this and that might be actually correct here as we are seeing the units now moving forward onto this forward um hunting location here the troll going to help out very very good here and we'll see how this game is going to continue. The villagers are unfortunately chopping down from a weird position here as we are now seeing Yoshi returning onto this wood. And look at this. He's taken the food villagers that were on the zebra and put them onto the wood. Such a clever play, reducing the amount of idle food income that he's going to get. I think he probably definitely, if he if, if Soup uh, goes with this build in this situation, again, might want to consider less dwarves on gold, especially if he's going to transition into gatherers. Part of the reason you go to to 10 dwarves on gold is the standard for Loki is because you're continuing to build dwarves. So 10 dwarves plus uh plus sorry building building two Hursa plus the dwarves means that uh that's gonna be a slight increase in gold so that such that when you get enough food you're gonna have the 500 gold remaining so you get 500 gold you get 800 food you advance to the heroic age in this situation soup is building gatherers instead of dwarves so he's he's actually spending more food and less gold so he needs less on gold just little things to keep uh, in your mind if you are a, a avid loki supporter uh and want to see loki do well which is definitely something that i want 
want to see is we're seeing a beautiful raid come in here from uh, from Super. He's actually going to get three villager kills and feel like he's really had a success on this outing that he's currently on. Uh, he's currently distracting the army of uh, of Yoshi of of Yoshi, but Yoshi's getting some good villager picks here. There's two going down, possibly going to be three. These hoplites are very very fast. They are Zeus hoplites at 4.7 speed. That's going to be so many dead villagers as Super running away. We see the Herso leaving this location, going to be going after the main base of Yoshi, who's now throwing up some walls. A little bit scared. He is going to have to think about farming fairly soon. Uh, hunting the zebra in the middle of the map or the rhino in the middle of the map going to be very, very dangerous. The zebra over here going to be very, very dangerous for Yoshi, generally speaking, at this point in the game. For the Greek player, you want to move inside of your base. If you're inside of your base uh, before, like, I would say, like, the eight-minute mark or maybe the seven-minute, 30 mark, if you're starting to be inside your base, then it's really, really bad for you. Like, these these are herdables. Generally, you don't want to eat them uh, and at this point because the Norse player is going to be so far in front. We are seeing some nice garrison micro here, but still, Soup getting some good villager picks in this game as we're seeing heavy, uh, or sorry, not heavy, medium hoplites coming in, but we do have a, a Valkyrie spawn as well as more villagers falling, and it's looking as if Soup is all over over uh, Yoshi right now. Uh, but Yoshi's got a, a a lot of units. He's got so many units out right now that it could be very scary if... Uh, if Yoshi can find a place in which he can get some value with his army, get some value with his restoration, because Yoshi does have that restoration remaining, which does in fact mean that he's going to be able to win a single fight. And a single fight can be the difference between winning the game and losing the game. So this could be a game-ending uh, attempt if Yoshi can find the location in which he needs to attack. But... Soup, still putting pressure on, still looking for those wood lines. This is the map Painted Desert. The wood lines on Painted Desert can be very, very difficult to defend. We see one decent watchtower over here, some nice building placement now going down by uh, by Yoshi as Soup going to attempt to take down this watchtower before retreating away as now we're seeing the army getting split up by Yoshi. You have to be very, very careful when splitting up your army as a Greek player against the Norse player because he's got the army mobility. He can come in and completely surround you. As we see the army coming in, we see Yoshi deciding to retreat away. These units still taking down buildings in the main base of Soup. We see the army now moving up from Yoshi. He's going to be coming in with his entire force. He's sitting at 107, 105 population. Uh, Soup is sitting at 115 of 115 population. Still not able to go to that heroic age that he really wants to go to. He doesn't have the food just yet, but we are seeing Soup getting pushed back here with some more units swinging around the side for Yoshi. Going to look to hit the, uh, the food gathering operation. The goal gathering operation over here. We do see a bolt somewhere. I'm not 100% sure what it was. It was a Valkyrie. He does take that one out. But meanwhile, we see more raids coming into the main base of Yoshi. Lots of villagers falling. the multitasking from both of these places out of this world right now as we see the villagers retreating away from the Hoplite Toxody raiding force. Meanwhile, on the main fight over here, Yoshi is winning this one, but the damage is getting returned onto, uh, onto Yoshi very nicely as Soup is very, very well keeping this attack uh, everywhere here, but Soup is now pushed off the gold uh, and he's in a very, very difficult position. Even still, he's uh, has a lot of population in the in the in, in the bank in the bank. He's got a lot of population here, hundred population. So he can get a big surround here. He can take this fight and win. But we see the gold villagers moving over here onto this gold mine. This is a big reason why you do need the underworld passage for the for the Zeus player or even the Hades player to finish this game off because the Loki player is just going to keep moving onto different gold mines uh, and an attempt to keep going because these Hursa are effectively villagers if you think hard enough about it. They gather favor and they gather uh, resources based on what they do. Uh, get out of that as we see Yoshi now retreating his villages, but he's getting cut off. What a play by Soup here as Yoshi is going to lose every one of these villages to the gigantic force that Soup's got here. But now the Hoplites, they're coming in. Is it worth it to go for the town center? I think it is as that's exactly what Yoshi's going to do here. He's moving in. He's got himself the Minotaur. He's got himself the Hoplites. He's sending himself in. The uh, Odysseus getting targeted down first and he's got not much HP left, but still that's a lot more HP than these uh, Hoplites have and he does have a decent amount 
of Pierce armor there. As we do see, the Odysseus going to get pulled back and survive for the time being. The Minotaur does get taken down. Got a couple of units moving in over here as we are seeing the force of Soup coming in. The Restoration coming down there for Yoshi as he's realizing need to keep these units alive. The Town Center will end up going down, but at what cost here? He's going to have to retreat away because he's not going to have the force to really take this fight, but it's looking like maybe staying is the right idea, but that's going to give uh, Soup so many myth units spawned. Soup's got so many resources in the bag. 600 wood, 300, 400 gold here. So we'll see if it's going to be enough. And we do see this army of Yoshi is getting absolutely melted here as Soup is going to get his town center back. Uh, and and I don't think that this has been 100% worth it for uh, for Yoshi in this game as the town center. It's only 700 resources and that army was worth a hell of a lot more than 700 resources plus all the favor that Soup could have potentially had had he been set, uh, spending any of it. Uh, and now Soup, he could be getting some trolls out if he so chose, getting himself a second town center. It's such a bizarre game. Who knows exactly what he should be doing here as Yoshi now swinging in, going to come after these dwarves. There's a six dwarves on this gold mine that are going to be pushed off. And look at Soup's economy right now. 22 Two on wood, seven on food. Yoshi's economy here. Eight food, 12 wood, nine on gold with 800 gold in the bank. He really should be getting these villages off of this gold mine and putting them somewhere else, maybe onto wood such that these villages on wood can start building some farms in the main base and get going here. Does he have himself plow? He doesn't have plow just yet, but it is coming through. So that's going to be able to be a big, big help. Meanwhile, the raiding force is still going to be looking around, going to go after some villages in the main base, but there is watchtowers up right now for Yoshi as these villagers are going to get taken down very, very quickly. Uh, Soup. Soup is not uh, defending this at all right now. He's not actually paying attention. I keep getting the names of these players mixed up. That's a me problem. I'm sure you guys are following fine. Anyways, uh, we see Yoshi retreating away from Soup right now as the dwarves are going to make their way back over onto this gold mine. You can see Soup very, very struggling for gold right now, but he's he's going to be able to hold this gold mine fairly easily at this point. Meanwhile, we see a big raid coming in over onto these wood villages, but there are a couple of units in here. We could potentially be seeing Odysseus coming out here, Jason coming out here. I'm not sure where the heroes are uh, as these, these units are still going to be getting some big damage. We're finally seeing some walls coming up for... Yoshi, very, very important against Loki. This is one of the this is one of the reasons why Loki struggles. It's because walls, they they do not give any favor. They give zero favor to Loki. So that's a very, very good way to delay the Loki player from attacking you. Uh, and it can very much hurt them because they they want to fight and the walls prevent the fighting. And this is a very good uh, a very good uh, thing for Yoshi to be doing, but he is going to be losing this villager, it seems like, uh, as we can see units on both sides here. So that one will go down. The wall will not be completed for the time being. We'll see Soup take this one down. Doing his thing. Meanwhile, we see another... Look at all these dead villagers. Soup is, is getting absolutely carved here with uh with Yoshi's raids here. Have you ever seen Hoplite Toxodes being this good at raiding? You don't need Hippocon, guys. You don't need them. Just Hoplite Toxodes. It's the way of the future. It's the way... Of the, unless you're against Egyptian or, or Greek or, or Atlantean or China. Anyways, we see the villagers here getting raided yet again as Yoshi is finding his way. He is absolutely scraping his way back into this game. We see the troll get immediately targeted down there by Yoshi. Great micro here to take that one down. But the army of Soup is coming in. Meanwhile, we see this gold mine getting pushed off. And now Soup has, oh, sorry, Yoshi has no gold mine remaining. And he's currently at 150 gold, uh, 75 gold. The, the storehouse gets taken out. And this is going going to be a tough one for both players. Both players have no gold mines at the time being. Yoshi at 35 gold. Super 256 gold. But with 100 favor, he can make a, uh, we'll use the term again, a metric shit ton of trolls. And that is a scientific term. term. You will find that in your textbooks if you are uh, English as a second language studier. Uh, so definitely just remember that one. Uh, whenever you want to describe uh, what we are currently seeing here in the future. Okay, so Soup, he has got so many units out as yeah. well here. Boom, 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 boom. Just yeah. so many, but such, so does Yoshi. Because both of these players, it's such a weird game. Both of these players have been losing so many, uh, so many units here, so many villages that the auto queue, the way the auto queue works, well, not even the way the auto queue works, just the way that training units works is that if you continue to build military, 
you're going to get to that 115 population, lose yourself 30 villages. Instead of being 45 villages, 115 population, you're going to be like 20 villages with, with like 60 units. It's pretty crazy. And that's kind of what we're seeing is villages are just literally falling left, right, and center. This game is pure chaos here as the dwarves realize better run away. And I... I absolutely love this from both players. This is so crazy. Exactly what we want out of an RTS game uh, as Yoshi has even uh, lost some villages on these farms. Look at how many villages you got gathering right now. He has seven, eight, seven, nine villages plus five on favor right now. There's literally, this is like the early game here. This is like we're, we're five minutes into the game. We're still setting up our economy, but we've got a ton of units here as Soup here. He's in a very, very similar position. He's now going to get those dwarves back onto the other goal line, but there is a stray tox only just chilling over here just hanging out just saying eh, i just want to know if you're over here just want, just want to chat i want to tell you about uh i want to just introduce you to have you heard about our lord and savior jesus christ uh and uh and that's what he's currently doing and there and the dwarves are, and the uh and the gatherers are definitely going to be like no uh we haven't we we support uh we we we, we support loki uh, in his uh in his quest to be the 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 leader of the uh, of, of the netherworld uh, and we're gonna kill you for your blasphemy and that's currently what we're seeing we're seeing the shanking going on absolutely love that but yoshi's still in a difficult position he's still he's still sitting at zero gold he has zero gold in the bank with zero villages on gold uh, and his army is currently going to swing around and try and prevent uh, Soup from gathering that gold. Uh, Soup is missing a house. Anyone? Housing crisis? Chrono JJ? Is he in the... Is he in the uh, no, no, Chrono JJ. Anyways... So pushing in, we do see uh, Yoshi retreating away. We've got the Valkyries coming out. But right now, we've got a very, very interesting situation arising in a Loki versus Zeus matchup. The Loki player has next to no Herser in his army. And guess what? Yoshi is making Minotaur. You guys out there, you guys see Loki and you're like, eh, maybe against Loki, no Myth units, because those Hursa, they're really, really good. But Yoshi is like, no, this isn't any old Loki. This is the Loki that 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 I'm going to beat with Minotaur. And that's going to be a very, very effective as we are seeing the Toxody raids coming in with the help of the Hoplites able to take down even more dwarves, preventing uh, Soup from making too many more units here. Beautiful play here from Yoshi to keep Soup off of that gold mine. We are still seeing units from uh, from Soup just trying to prevent Yoshi from getting gold, but it's not going to matter in the slightest if this is just going to be a pure Minotaur army. Is he going to put the... He has put the resources into getting Bull Minotaur. What's he actually aim for this? The, the uh, Labyrinth of Minos. So he has got himself that. So these are 150 food, 14 favor, beasts of a unit. They've got themselves... 448 HP, they've got themselves 15 damage, and the only reason you don't see these en masse every single game as Zeus is because heroes are so good against them. However, if there's not many heroes, these Minotaur become terrifying, and this is going to be a Norse player's worst nightmare, uh, and we're going to see that become a complete eventuality as we are still seeing Yoshi circling around the map trying to figure out where the gold is getting gathered from. We see these villagers returning over here, going to be able to shank down this throwing axeman here. Uh, but one villager did fall. We are seeing this uh, Minotaur going after the Iron here, saying, I don't want you in my life anymore. But Soup does have a spy on this gold mine, so he is going to be very hyper aware that this gold mine is getting gathered from. But there's not really much he can do about it unless he gets himself like 15 Hursa out, which he simply can't do at this point. He's got himself a ton of throwing axemen that are chasing around these units here that are going after this gold mine. And now Yoshi is going to circle in on this location. He's got so many uh, Minotaurs and there is another way to deal with the mass Minotaurs and that is mass Frost Giant. But how can Soup get there if he doesn't get any... Uh, any food, any gold income. It's going to be too hard for him. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Mron Dinop, I appreciate you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We see uh, we see Yoshi retreating away. Look at how many Minotaur he's got. Just fight this. He's completely winning. There's six Hurso here. If he targets them down with the Toxodes, it's going to be a very, very tough fight for Soup to take. But Yoshi is deciding that maybe he shouldn't take it just yet. Maybe too many Hurso. Maybe the army too strong. And he is going to be retreating away. We do see a stray throwing axeman throwing away his life here. And we'll see how this is going to go. More units popping out now for Yoshi. He's still trying to get himself up to 115 of 115 supply here. Going to run through this 
this gate, and that's going to be a good a good place for him to hide here. Uh, as I mean, look at the difference in, in villages. We've got 15, we've got 11, we've got three. It's about 30 villages here for Yoshi to soup, who's got literally the same amount of villages. Both players here at 15 villages. Yoshi's got actually a few more because he's got six on favor, but that kind of equates himself with the fact that there are uh, Ursa here as well. So no problem where that is concerned. We see some walls coming up. This is hilarious. Beautiful walls here from Yoshi to delay, but the Minotaur still, there's so much. Seven bull Minotaur. Have you ever seen this many Minotaur on a battlefield against a Loki player in your life? The answer is no, as we're going to continue here. Will we ever see these players leaving the Classical Age is the question. We do know that Soup is an avid fan of staying in the Classical Age for as long as he possibly can, but right now, he is making his way. He's got his armory. He is making his way to the Heroic Age. He's got a little bit more food to gather for him. He can cancel every one of his units right now and advance, but he's not going to do it just yet. Uh, Yoshi, on the other hand, he's very much struggling to get anything in this game as we are seeing the villagers making their way over onto this gold mine, and this might be part of the problem for Yoshi to have to overcome here. It's going to be flaming weapons. It's going to be no gold. It's going to be a difficult ability to get to the Heroic Age to get himself out those counter infantry units, and then the Frost Giants are going to come in. No, no Frost Giants for uh, for Loki, but then the Battle Ball are going to come in. It's going to be really, really tough for him to fight this, but right now we see the villagers helping out in this fight. These Minotaur doing so much work with their upgrade, with everything else, and we see that Yoshi completely dominates this fight, and Soup has to retreat away. What a play here from Yoshi. What an incredible, dis what incredible decision-making from Yoshi here in this game. Soup, on the other hand, is spamming out those dwarves. He's trying to continue. He did decide to not go to the heroic age in uh in in favor of spamming more units here he's over here he's getting raided by the hoplites and yoshi is pulling ahead in score 96 pop for soup yoshi 110 population so many units here for yoshi so many bull minotaur but the hearse are getting some big damage done we are seeing the bull minotaur trying to retreat away one of the big weaknesses of making these minotaur is that they have a lot of favor inside of them 2.16 and the hearse do tons of damage so soup can get a bunch of myth unit spawns from these if he can get uh, a lot of time spent taking this here. And now we see the, uh, there's that Hursa, we, or Einhia spawn that we were talking about, that myth unit spawn from the Hursa, but immediately gets, uh, what, what's the thing called? Is it Bash? Is it, is it shoulder charge? Immediately gets shoulder charged there from the Minotaur as these raiding cavalry circling around the back. We are seeing some nice focus fire here from Yoshi to use those Toxodes to take down the Hursa because he realizes how important it is for those Hursa to fall. If the Hursa fall, the Bull Minotaur do not fall ever. But there's so many units piling in here for Soup. His production is out of this world good here as Soup 98 population and Yoshi deciding I've got to retreat here. Maybe get Get those villagers back in. Uh, maybe turn around. I can't turn around with that many her, so not enough units here for Yoshi just yet. He's still trying to spam out. He's got a bunch of idle units over here that could be a very, very big help in this fight. But retreating away nonetheless, Yoshi, 15 food, 7 gold, 14, uh, or 7 wood, 14 gold, and a very similar situation here for Soup. And he's currently taking all villagers off of wood here. Strictly, basically, just putting villagers onto gold, still slamming his head into Yoshi's base here as Yoshi defending as best as he possibly can. We see the troll get immediately targeted yet again by that Odysseus and he falls so fast to the Odysseus, uh, obviously as he should, but the fight is ensuing here. The Hursa are trying to get onto those Bull Minotaurs. The Bull Minotaurs trying to tank for the Hoplites. The Toxod is trying to get some damage done. We see the villagers getting pulled off of the gold mine here as they're getting into this fight as well. Trying to shank down those uh, Hursa as best they can. We see another troll spawn over here. The Odysseus should move over and target this one down as fast as he possibly can. That's exactly what he's doing. But the Minotaur does end up falling. Yoshi with only 16 food villagers. Not enough to really spam these Minotaur out even with 84 favor in the back, but he does end up pushing uh, Soup away right now as Soup has fallen to 64 uh, population here, and Yoshi has got the advantage. Will Yoshi be able to push out? Is that the correct option? I don't know right now because generally speaking, fighting the Loki player is not what you want to do. You want to get the tech. You want to get to the Mythic Age. You want to get yourself Bellerophon. You want to get yourself a Paspist. You want to get yourself Lightning Storm and defend as best as you can at this point, but Yoshi Yoshi, he has to fight because Soup is forcing so hard here in the classical age. 
And there's just so many units for soup. What soup needs right now is strictly speaking, he needs to be at like 40 farms here in the classical age if he wants to do anything. Both these plays 27 minutes into the game. One town center. No second town center being grabbed. Just pure, pure chaos in this game. We see the wall getting targeted down now by soup as the villagers get pulled off of the wood line. Too little, too late. You have to say the repair rate on walls is very, very low. Villagers repairing this. Uh, take notes, Age of Empires 4. This is what you need to do to fix your game. Repair rate. Nerf that shit. Nerf it. Nerf it. Do it already. Just do it. We start a petition, guys. We're going to start a petition. Houses. Houses getting targeted down here. Very, very smart by Soup. This is a very, very big hit to Yoshi's economy. He does have a decent amount of wood in the bank, but if you have to spend more food on houses, that's less farms you can build, less ability to get anywhere. Do you see another raid over here onto Soup's gold villages? How many villages have been killed in this game? That's a question I pose to you guys in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Whoever guesses correctly does win a prize, and that prize is going to be a date with... Let's go with Mito or Mito. Mito in the in the chat. He's going to take you out on a date anywhere you like. Expensive French wine will be on the card. So put that in the comments section below and tell me how many villagers died here. And I will, uh, I'll let you know who wins that prize. Uh, that, exactly. Exactly. That's exactly what we're doing here. Uh, and now, uh, Soup moving forward. He's going to be uh, pushing in to try and take down. Uh, this, uh, this message was not endorsed by Mito. He may not take you on a date. You might not get anything apart from eternal glory from guessing this correctly. But um, this, is, this is how we're going to do it. We've got uh, an armory coming up now for Yoshi. Look at how much Yoshi's made his way. He's got the resources to go to the Royal Case. The first man uh, to get there will be Yoshi here. He's got his armory up. Up. He's clicking up to the heroic age as we speak. No, not just yet. He's thinking about it. Yes, he is, and he's going through Apollo. I love the Apollo over the Dionysus here. I love that pick by Yoshi. He's going to have a lot of maneuverability. The Dionysus is not going to be a big help here, uh, even with the bronze, even with the Bacchanalia. Uh, the question right now is, should Yoshi go straight to the Mythic Age? Should Yoshi try and get Town Centers? For me, in this situation, if you guys are a vanilla player you will uh, and have ever heard me talk about vanilla, this is the situation you go straight to the Mythic Age in on vanilla, and I think that is completely applicable here in this game. Town centers in this situation are not very good. Now, after this slis lull, we see Soup getting a second town center. He's almost able to advance to the next stage. We see the dwarves moving up to this top gold mine that Soup's been holding for the longest of times here. We're going to be able to see him advance very, very shortly here. Well, this is one of the weaknesses of auto queue is that you don't realize that you probably could have advanced about a minute ago had you just canceled all of these buildings. And we will be seeing Bragi coming through very, very shortly as Apollo does hit first for Yoshi. The problem here for Yoshi is that he can't simply just go strictly Hapaspus. The answer normally is a mix of Hapaspus, Hoplite, Doxodes. But normally against Loki, once you hit the Heroic Age, you just can make Hapaspus because they just got pure Ursa. And that can be a really big help. But that's not not happening here in this game and we don't we still are not seeing soup soup just doesn't want to he doesn't want to go to the heroic age soup's like nah okay now he's going through bragi imagine imagine Nord here come on guys come on say it with me imagine Nord. no we don't think Nord's a good idea oh okay okay cool cool cool, cool. as we see these hoplites getting targeted down the herso say no i've had enough of you targeting me down the walls over here for soup going to be helping a little bit here uh as uh, but i mean not really he does have a house that blocks this, but you can sneak through and then come around here and be completely fine. And we do see the underworld passage onto this location. It's going to be so many dead dwarves over here. Beautiful play by Yoshi, but they, they will be able to retreat away just a little bit. You do kind of need to bring in some villages over here to pile block with buildings. It will be very, very good, but he didn't go for it. As we see a ton of dwarves falling, though. Nonetheless, one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven dwarves, it looks like, falling incredibly fast here. And now we're going to be seeing these walls coming up. The raiding cavalry do manage to sneak their way in here. Uh, where's the underworld passage? It is over here. So now Yoshi can bounce around, hit this location, and go uh, elsewhere. But guess what? 
There is no way for uh, for Soup to grab this gold mine. Soup needs to move forward, not backwards. Otherwise, he's going to be having a dart all around the map if he really wants to fight here. There's the flaming weapons. Yoshi will immediately retreat, and he can just jump straight through this underworld passage. Go after this town center as a as a decent trade here. We see the market up for Yoshi. Is he going through Hera? He is going through Hera. This is exactly what I was talking about. This is exactly what he needs to do, uh, and this is going to be a beautiful counter here to the flaming weapons of Soup. Soup is going to be in such a difficult position. 95% of the way through for Yoshi. The Lightning Storm is going to come down immediately and all of these units will fall. We see Heavy Hoplites coming through as well. The army of Yoshi retreating away immediately. These units getting targeted down so quickly. Soup goes from 100 and something population down to 145 population. Or down to 100 population from 145 it seems. See the units still popping out going to deal with this and now we see the town center getting targeted down. Soup three towns and is in an incredibly difficult position here. And we do we see an immediate uh, Bellerophon here for Yoshi? No, he doesn't have the gold. He's got a ton of food in the back. No trade route being made uh, just yet. The dwarves are in the middle of the map here. Yoshi's, uh, sorry, Soup's flaming weapons is expiring here as the town center will be falling incredibly fast with the help of the Minotaur. Those heavy hoplites do so much damage. The battle ball coming back in. We are seeing the army of Soup sneaking over here. Will he grab this town center for himself? Will he not? That is the question. The Ursa are going to be a bit of a difficulty to defend against here, but there are some of the pacifists out. Toxody's getting targeted down. Beautiful play there from Soup to take those down, but Soup's town center falls. He is on two town centers. He is in the middle of the map with these dwarves. I'm not sure if Soup is 100%, sorry, if Yoshi is 100% aware that this is in here, but there is a Pegasus somewhere here for, uh, for Yoshi to scout around. I saw it flapping, but maybe it's fallen in his place. We see up. There's the Frost Giants we were talking about. You can totally get those as uh, Loki. Anyways, uh, these this army here, we see some Myrmidon even coming out. Those are beautiful, beautiful units to be building against the Norse player. Uh, and Soup, he's got to figure out a way forward here. He's got to figure out a way forward. He's currently spamming out the farms. Thank you so much for the Prime Howard Hughes. Uh, appreciate you, man. Welcome, welcome. And uh, six months as well. Thank you. Uh, and now we see the Frost Giant retreating away here. Uh, and it will end up falling. The question is, where to now for Yoshi? What is he going to do? He's got himself... Uh, is he getting himself champion infantry? No champion infantry. He's just got the units out. Is he going to get himself a town center? Is he just going to stay here or not? You see the Hursa moving in onto this position here as Yoshi. Uh, he's got himself 14 villages on gold over on this gold mine, which is ingenious. This is going to be a really, really tough place to raid here for, uh, for Soup as... It, Soup can, as Yoshi can just bounce in and out as he wishes, and he does spot this gold mining operation in the middle of the map, and this is going to be a fight completely forced here. But the question is, is this army of Yoshi good enough here? I think the answer may be no at this point. Even with those Myrmidon being a big help, we'll see how this is going to go. Yoshi, uh, sorry, Soup is all over the map right now with some military buildings coming over here, but it is looking as if this fight is going the way of Soup with those incredibly strong throwing Axemen here doing absolute work in this fight. The Hoplites, the Hapaspis, getting taken down so fast. Soup, 117 population. Yoshi, 84 population here as it's looking as if Soup is managing to keep himself alive in this game, but he's still stuck in the Heroic Age, not able to get Mythic Age, no tier, no hell, no Fire Giant, no real way to spend that favor either. He does have, it's not even building Battle Boar at this point, even though they are incredibly strong here. We see Yoshi retreating back to his Underworld Passage. Uh, and we'll see how this game is going to continue. Myrmidon still coming through for Yoshi. If he can get out enough Myrmidon, there is next to nothing a Norse player can do against them because they are so incredibly strong. Uh, maybe like mass throwing Axemen would be able to beat mass Myrmidon, but it's still very, very tough, especially if the Myrmidon can get onto those throwing Axemen. We see the village is going to be retreating away. Everyone just leaving this location now. Going to return back home onto a home gold mine. Nice play there. Not going to be taking too many losses. Uh, we still need to see a town center getting grabbed by Yoshi. Once you're in the heroic age, the next, oh, sorry, the mythic age, the, the natural next step is always going to be town centers, uh, but it's not coming up just yet. We see these walls coming through here as Yoshi moving forward onto this gold mine yet again, as we see the underworld passage has been dealt with, uh, and Yoshi does decide to target down the ox cart first before going after those dwarves, which he yet again get a fall. What is Soup? Soup's got no gold in the bank. He doesn't have a market up. He's getting himself that third town center yet again. 
Uh, and he will be getting himself an ox cart. He's got a couple of ox carts around, but not too many. Maybe get the talent center and then build an ox cart. There's now uh, Soup coming back in onto this location. We see the uh, we see the the army of Yoshi doing very very nice here. Yo, the Hursa here chilling out, doing their thing. Hey, As the dwarves coming up onto this gold mine now, it does give a very, very clear message to Yoshi that they're there though, as Yoshi has a little bit of line of sight over here. Boom, boom, boom. We see this uh this storehouse here doing its thing. And the walls are finished up here. And now the throwing axeman coming in can be able to snipe down these units incredibly fast here. Beautiful play yet again by Soup to defend that, but he's missed the uh, cheeky raiding force of Yoshi. He's just sent himself forward seven cheeky units here, uh, and these dwarves are going to get taken down incredibly fast. We see the Toxodes defending this one over here, uh, and there's no way for Soup to really push forward at this point, but he does have all the advantage. There's that Pegasus we were talking about. A man after Pegasus rushes heart. Just hanging out, taking up two population space. Uh, uh, we've always heard Pegasus Rush say, yeah, make Pegasus one population uh, because that's what he wants. But we see the town center coming out. A cheeky throwing Axeman coming in in an effort to delay this, but it's not really going to do all too much. Uh, and now, the, well, what does Yoshi do? Like, he's got he's got resources in the bank. He does have that that relic here. He could get himself the uh, the Titan out here if he so chose. It's a little bit cheaper. What, what's it at at this point? It's like 600, right? 600, 600, 638. So we could get a, a cheeky Titan now, just because uh, just, why not? Now Soup going to be retreating away. We see these army coming back in. Still some more raids coming over here, getting dealt with by the throwing Axemen that are just a little bit too slow to chase these units down. 4.4 speed versus 4.4 speed. It's not enough. That's the army of Yoshi uh, getting dealt with here. As Soup is kind of in and around... Uh, Yoshi's base. Yoshi is still mining gold from here, but there is going to be an, uh, a very real issue arising in that this gold mine in the middle, there's not much gold left on the map, and neither player has really started a trade route. Yoshi has slightly started a trade route. Thank you so much for the two months there. Uh, get over it, dude. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate you. Amazing. And now we see Yoshi going to be making a sneaky, sneaky raiding move here. But guess what? Oh, I thought he was going around the side. Uh, but it's it's going to get it's going to get spotted here by Soup if he wants to be looking at his mini map at all. Uh, there is a slight amount of uh, of line of sight. That's why you always want to get that upgrade signal fires uh, because it's going to help out a ton. As we see the army moving in, they will take these units down. The dwarves immediately retreating away. Down center is up. Bellerophon getting built here. Soup with a thousand gold now. He might decide to start making those uh, those ox caravans and, and start uh, positioning himself into a little bit of a, a better a better position here. As we see the hill fort just about to shoot up, and we'll see how that's all going to go. As the military academy getting taken down, Yoshi definitely finding himself in a bit of a precarious position here. Because Soup here is going to be moving forward. Double hill fort here. His army is... Uh, sorry, Yoshi's army is blocked off. But he can uh, escape through this way if he goes unnoticed and escape past this. But he's not going to realize that this that these buildings have just shot up here. Because uh, it's a lot. Double hill fort here. The, the uh, barracks are up. Yeah. The Myrmidon are up. The champion infantry here for our Zeus player, uh, Yoshi. As he goes straight after that ox car. Going to be delaying the gold income of Soup even more. He's at... 390 gold, 14 dwarves on gold. The champion infantry so big here. Going to be going after this hill fort, attempting to snipe it down. We do see the cavalry immediately targeting down those archers. Very, very nice play there. The hill fort does get taken out. The army of Yosh. Oh, he doesn't manage to take it out. Actually, the hill fort might end up coming up as the army of Yoshi actually does end up getting dealt with. Meanwhile, we see Soup sneaking this town center under the watchful eyes of Yoshi's supreme overlord, Pegasus. Uh, and we'll see if anything's going to happen there as we do see the Bellerophon just hanging out in the back. Definitely needed that in that fight, but Yoshi not paying attention to that one very well. And now we're going to start seeing some of those terrifying, terrifying Huskarls coming out for Soup, which are going to be so good against those Toxodes. But Yoshi kind of might want to think about just going mass, uh, mass infantry here to kind of deal with these throwing axemen, just master pass fist. Could be completely fine. We see the Hursa are going to be retreating away from this uh, location here as Soup will be back onto this gold mine now. He still needs to make himself that ox card. It's at 99% at this point. So Bellerophon is coming in. A very, very terrifying unit here. If Microd uh, used to be more terrifying, but not not really, uh, not as terrifying anymore with 15, uh, 
second recharge time, but every time the jump happens, you can come in and basically snipe a unit that's 100 hack damage shot here. It's boom, smack, dead dude. And then also the 26 damage per second that comes through from Bellerophon, still very, very big. But this push still mounting here from Soup. 108 population for Yoshi to 141 population. The Mountain Giant coming in. The Mountain Giant spawned there for Soup somewhere. Going to be a big help to take down these military buildings. Yoshi does not have himself masons, and this gold mine has been pushed off. But Yoshi has started a very small trade route. Uh, it's a very non-existent trade route, uh, in other words. And it looks as if, somehow, someway, the Norse army, the heroic age Norse army, the classical age Norse army, has survived against the mythic age Zeus army of Yoshi. What an incredible game thus far. What has Yoshi got left in store for us in this game? And will we eventually see Soup getting to his mythic age dream here in this game or not he's still very low on gold 100 nearly a thousand food in the bank 700 wood just about in the bank as well as he is going to be moving forward trying to take down these toxodes we see the mountain giant hanging out will be able to take down this town center as well as it's looking as if yoshi has got no answer to these units not getting himself this town center no gold in the bank here no nothing remaining and it's looking very very tough here for our Zeus player here as Soup is sort of just sort of managing to find his uh, his time to attack as Yoshi's under 100 population here. But the units of, of Soup aren't really in this position just yet. He's, he's able to build some military units from these longhouses that he built earlier. And we do see a hill fort over here as well as... I think the Pegasus does spot that as well, but I don't think Yoshi can do anything. No, it's not spotting that just yet. The Mountain Giant's still getting taken down, but I think I think the Town Center survives against this with that many villagers on it. Uh, and it's still going to be very, very uh, close here if Yoshi can manage to get a gold mine anywhere on the map. But the problem is he really can't. These Donkey Caravans doing their best to get him just a little bit of gold, 19 gold a trip. And he has managed to push back Soup for the time being. But Soup is nearly 160 population here. He's got himself, he is 160 population right now. Uh, as Yoshi is very, very desperately holding on to his position if Soup can get up a hill fort on this position here as well, it's going to be lights out for Yoshi. And we are seeing Yo. yet again these Herso making their way over. We've got Wall, Wall V of Hammer Tracker. We've got Gizur Fox Counter. We've got Ulf Blue Collar and Gmir Griffinbrow trying to take this town center when he gets the resources. Uh, and Soup is just going to keep on distracting over here as best he can. I think putting up like a tower or two here would be the right way just to start. We see <laughs> we see the troll walls just going to... No, no more no more trade route for you, uh, Mr. Soup. I'm going to be putting a stop to that one. You're going to have to deal with that. I'm um, going to be a very big nuisance. And in fact, the Donkey Caravan uh, doesn't know what to do with himself here. That's uh, Soup very much in front right now. 110 of 130 population. And Yoshi, in this moment, realizes the game is doomed. And he taps out. What a ridiculous game. Our Norse player, Soup, still in just the heroic age in 43 minutes and 31 seconds. I don't believe it. I don't believe I've ever seen a Loki uh, game where the Zeus player makes the, the Mythic Age and is not able to put the Loki player into the dirt. And that's just a testament to how good Soup plays the art of war here. Always looking for a way to attack his opponent, getting damage done. But so too... Was Yoshi doing exactly that back to Soup? And that's what made this game so chaotic. Soup's, uh, sorry, Yoshi's attempt at those Minotaur was so good as well. Able to do such amazing, amazing damage to Yoshi uh, and, and, and in turn, uh, sorry, to Soup with those Minotaur. And in turn, Soup was able to overcome said Minotaur with, uh, with his beautiful, beautiful multitasking to distract and do everything he can. What a game here from uh, what a game here from Soup. Incredible game. If you guys enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch if you're on the YouTubes. Um, hit that subscribe button and I guess we'll figure out how many villagers died at some point because you're going to leave that in the comments, right? Yes, yes, yes. I'll see you guys later. Bye.